planet cannot survive without healthy ocean. This is our uh, common resource. This is very clear. What we do in Mercator Ocean is ocean forecasting. We are monitoring the ocean anywhere in the world, at the surface and also below the water. Copernicus is a European uh, Union program aiming at developing the use of Earth observation. Mercator Ocean is implementing the marine service on behalf of the EU. Mercator Ocean was created by public organizations in France to do that. And we are also opening the shareholding of Mercator Oceans to new entities that are from uh, different countries in, uh, in, in Europe, so that it is really a European initiative delivering uh, what we call a core service to anyone. And then we put this data on a, on a portal. This is Copernicus Marine Environment Monitoring Service, CMERMS. 30 years ago, I mean, the uh, oceanography was really uh, not at all at the stage uh, where it is today. Satellites are really uh, uh, essential observation and they provide global, real-time, uh, high-resolution observation of key ocean parameters such as sea level and ocean current, uh, sea surface temperature, ocean color, sea ice, waves and wind. Because satellites, they only see the surface. They need to be uh, complemented by in-situ observations. This is the current in-situ observation network. Different colors correspond to different types of observations. Every 10 days they, they dive into the ocean and they measure temperature and salinity and sometimes they also measure uh, biogeochemical quantities. When they come up, they send a profiles to the satellites. Let's imagine this is a brick of our model. We integrate all this information together. When we have integrated everything, we obtain a 3D analysis of the ocean. And from this analysis, we can issue a forecast. That's what most users need because they need uh, uh, to have information at their point of interest. So we developed a series of ocean monitoring indicators to assess the state of the ocean. And every year, we publish an ocean state report, which is dealing specifically with acidification, because this is one of the uh, requests of uh, uh, UN SDG 14, to have a monitoring of uh, acidification. The role of international cooperation is uh, uh, essential. I mean, if you uh, if we want to access all the observations from satellite, but in particular for in situ, uh, any single nation cannot uh, do the observation of the ocean that we need for uh, to run our system. So this international cooperation, as developed and promoted through GEO, is essential in making sure that we can uh, pool resources and, and share the, the data. From the sustainable development goals, and the national statistical offices have the responsibility. Where do they get that information? How do they know the number of people in coastline are moving? What do they need to inform their decisions? So I think that's a really great idea to, as one of the kind of focus areas for, for internationalization because it really brings in a whole range of different communities. We are thinking about with, uh, with farms. Before to, de to decide where to go, they need to understand if this is a, a, a good place, if the strong currents could perturbate the, uh, the operations. And when they are there, they need also to, uh, to manage the, this, uh, this field. So this is important for them. The plastic, the pollution of plastic, is impressive and it's a disaster. And it's very interesting to use this platform to educate people to the impact on that. And we do that. We have fishermen in Africa, they need information before to go at sea. They need to know that the temperature, because the fish are, uh, the behavior of the fish is dependent upon the, the temperatures and the, the cold waters and warm waters, for instance. Think about the people protecting the marine species. The noise of the ocean the, uh, is very important because it, the, it creates perturbation for uh, mammals. Think about energy. We are delivering information to ship routing companies or to save fuels, save time. Accessing this data was difficult, so we deliver for free on an open basis to anyone. To free this information is wonderful. They are looking for more information than, than, uh, than nothing, <laughs> and so we are del delivering this.